Hey everyone, my name is Diana Doreen. I am a public relations and communication specialist and welcome to the human algorithm of things. The human algorithm of things is just um, a podcast that talks about everything, personal branding, leadership, uh, communications, public relations, and how to blend them all to achieve, say, digital marketing and any form of communication that involves, you know, company, company communication, consumer, company communication, uh, business, customer communication, and all everything that you know about communications. So that is what the human algorithm is about. And the human algorithm uh, of things is just about connecting one person to the next. When it comes to business, we understand that consumers are basically these people that want something. They may not really understand what they want, but they want something. So to connect a business to a target consumer, we need words, we need content, we need information. And while we're moving now to a digital era where there's so many brands, there's so many people, everyone is selling something, everyone is talking about a school of thought. How then can we distinguish ourselves from the next brand or the next person doing the same thing that we're doing and let our consumers or the public believe that we are the best and we offer the best so we do that through connections with uh, one would argue that uh, people don't buy things from people they buy why you're selling like why you're doing what you're doing so when we're trying to tap into your why we're actually trying to tap into your human aspect of things and that's why we see a lot of brands moving from you know the old-fashioned way of being very formal very uh, you know high standards yeah putting yourself up there and they're trying to come down to a level where it's not just about my best the best it's not just about the best machine that I have for example but it's about how do I get you to how do I help you solve your problem how do I tell you about how I want to solve your problem so that is basically what the human algorithm of things talks about there's so much that can be talked about social media management there's so much that can be talked about web optimization and there's so much that can be talked about you know um marketing and sales but at the end of the day the core of it is just putting the human aspect into the way you do things then you get customers and clients to want to build a relationship with your product or with your brand Uh, having that out of the way the human algorithm of things podcast is for who who is my target audience my target audience is someone who wants to build a brand that is the first thing And I'm going to emphasize on that because moving on, you should expect something like that content in business, leadership, branding, and all that. So if you're looking to build a brand, you could be looking to create opportunities for yourself, to put yourself out there to get maybe a job or to get the next promotion, uh, or you're you're just looking to become a business in the long term. Because in, in this digital era, We're moving from the traditional way way of doing things to a more uh, fulfilling way of running businesses. We have solopreneurs. Entrepreneurship is taking another shape that I think it's more accommodating. So if you're that person looking to establish a sustainable business in the long term. So maybe you have a business already going on and you're now looking to have it sustainable. You, you're looking at the future and you like, you know, I want to build something bigger than myself. I want to big, build something bigger than the region that I'm operating in. So this podcast is for you. Disclaimer, this podcast is not for anyone looking to gain publicity through controversy or gain instant fame. Like I said earlier, if you're looking to build a sustainable business, You're not looking for instant fame. You're not looking to get all the numbers and you're not worried so much about the numbers. But you're looking to grow something strong and something that will withstand the test of time. This podcast is also not for anyone who believes that there's no such thing as bad publicity. 
this podcast is not for you and also if you are if if you're okay with the old system of you know go to school get a job start working on something or maybe start or start working on you know someone's um, company or anything which is not bad because entrepreneurship is not for everyone at the end of the day but if you're that person who's okay with how the old system of education works or the current system of our, our education works this is this podcast is not for you and you're not looking to disrupt anything in the current status quo this is this is definitely not for you finally if you're looking to venture into illegal activities or crime to get cash wash wash nini nini those things that actually can get you arrested this podcast is also not for you so this podcast will be breaking down various strategies on um building a strong brand building a strong online presence and actually I am a founder of Dane Public Relations Agency and we have three packages. These are these three packages outline the things that I'm talking about. We have the first package is if you have an idea, like if you have a, a, an already existing a business idea and you're and you're clear about your mission, you're clear about your vision, you got something, uh, you got some marketing going on here already. This podcast is for you and you will get so much information. And then there's also this other group. You want to just build a personal brand. And personal branding, I have categorized it into three into three sections, I believe. We have uh if you have a career going on and you're and now you want to scale to the next level. Whatever that looks like for you or whatever that means to you. So you just started out or you are a few years maybe up to 5 years into your career and now you just want to be serious about um how you brand yourself and how you put yourself out there this will be a great podcast for you uh if you are established you should know your craft like the back of your hand and now you're looking into living a life of impact because now if the money is there and everything and you know you you understand what you're doing and you're really g- good at it and now you're just looking to further upscale into the you know the needs of life by wanting to create some f- sort of impact so you're considering giving back to the society being a mentor and just contributing to a greater good that is this podcast will be great for you and also now under personal branding i said there are three of them so the last one is if you haven't started yet So there was that one you are already in a career maybe within 5 years of your career the other one is you just are an accomplished you could be a manager or a, or a, an executive somewhere and now you're looking to create an impact then the last one is you haven't started yet and it's something you have been considering for a while you're not sure what it takes for you maybe you have a following already or not but you just want to understand what is this that gets me excited and I want to do something at the end of the day we said the podcast is for those people who want to create opportunities for themselves become a business in the long term or if you're looking to establish a sustainable business so this is another category so that is personal branding and then the third package we have those people who want to create a presence you don't have any system going on you don't have anything started you have this idea in your head you have not written any proposal you do not have any business um you know business model or anything but you now want to get into it you want to get your um you want to get your company profile you want maybe to get your media kit ready you want to establish social media content you want to you know be have a presence online this is also your space and also you want to have a digital presence like i've said be seen as an expert in your niche and want to influence those around you to become your customers yeah so those are the three packages those three packages are what we are going to be diving into each day with a different topic but they basically and essentially help people to build brands help you to create your own brand help you to create opportunities for yourself help you to 
to become a business solopreneurship and all that and also helps you to you know establish a sustainable business in 2023 moving forward so having said that first of all i want to thank you so much if you have reached to this level i appreciate your presence and i appreciate your eagerness to learn and to you know to take your brand to the next level so on this episode we're going to talk more about building a brand you hear people talking about i am a brand or a made in africa brand what is it about and what are these the dna's to making a strong sustainable brand in 2023 where there's a lot of information where there's a lot of people and everyone is just trying to get attention so we're going to talk about that so i'm just going to give you a moment to subscribe you can just hit the subscribe button and i am nothing with all this information without you so let's let's build relationships let's become friends let me know what you think at at this point do you think that it's something you'd want to do or let me also give you a chance to now consider if this podcast for you or or you or this is the time where you you know switch off and go do other things so when you're talking about defining a brand for me i believe that a brand is a concept it's a concept that is created within us and then it comes out and it's manifested and people can now interact with it and create and make meaning out of it for a very long time i haven't um i wasn't into social media i i i have a background in public relations journalism mass communication now my specialization is public relations and advertising and for a very long time i wasn't into into uh my account personal accounts i've worked with uh, clients from within the country and i've also worked with clients outside the country talk of ngos uh, private sector government yeah i've worked with all of them and yeah and i've achieved a lot while working in those spaces and i thought why not now go into other areas and what other spheres and one uh, sector that is so much close to my heart is the SMEs, the micro, in fact, MSMEs, the micro, small, medium-sized enterprises. I feel like there's a lot that can be tapped in that, that can be tapped by MSMEs in the digital space and also how they package themselves. Um, I recently wrote an article and I had, and you will be surprised the number of it's a, it's approximately 7 million startups operating in Kenya so you can imagine not even startups 7 million MSMEs operating in Kenya and these are people who have a vision these are people who have who know who have this solution to solving something and these people are not necessarily communicators they are not marketers they are not writers but they have this concept that they can sell so um my role here is to help SMEs understand very well how to package themselves and how to communicate the vision to every other person. So that is part of what I am passionate about. And moving into the digital space, I believe that there's a lot that can be can be achieved through creating a strong digital presence. And every time I approach a client, every time a client comes to our office, it's always like, how do I create this community of people who who want to, you know, have a long-term relationship with my with my brand so that they can become clients? So that is the the one question that I get a lot. And so that's why I said This podcast is not for anyone who's looking to create um, instant fame and publicity because uh, there's nothing that can be created overnight. And even when we create anything overnight, it's easily, it's so slippery that it can disappear as soon as it came. So that's why I'm saying building a strong brand means committing to it, investing in it, investing in it so much so that you are you are actually covered in future by the strong brand that you've built that when it comes to crisis management and all that you do not have a problem with it i get a lot of pro- i get a lot of clients who come when now it's um 
we are at a crisis and they're like, okay, I have done this, I have done that, and it has not worked. So uh, I'm being faced with this challenge at the moment, and I'm hoping that you can give me an instant fix, which sometimes I do not have, <laughs> unfortunately. But yeah, we work, we definitely find a way to work things around there so that we can come out, you know, stronger. But it's always good to remember that public relations, communications, marketing, advertising, it's not something that you can do in a month and forget about it. We do it consistently, we do it daily, we analyze, we evaluate, we improve, and that's how we get stronger. This is another dis- disclaimer. Marketing is not a one thing event. If you want to market once and disappear, it's better you don't even market. Number two, if you are you are creating something big and you want to communicate your vision, how do you do it? How do you get to create this human form of, you know, how do you connect with people? Because at the end of the day, if you are not able to connect with people, then I don't think you can you are able to sell because people don't want people don't work for companies people work for good bosses and good executives yeah so that's part of it so and then now we have personal branding and why personal branding is very important in this era is because uh we miss out on so many opportunities when we're locking ourselves out of you know putting our content our information out there we miss out on a lot so if I may echo, I like using this phrase because it really resonates with what I'm talking about, putting yourself out there. So um, it's about, okay, let me find it, just a second. It's by the late John D. Rockefeller. He talks about next to doing the right thing, the most important thing is to let people know you are doing the right thing. It's not enough to do the right thing, by the way. You just have to show it so that um, when I am planting a seed today, I am planting that seed knowing that in five years it's going to count. And when I'm starting to talk about, uh, when I'm using, when I'm starting to put my brand out there today, it's not just for the customers that I have now, it's for the customers that I'm looking to expand to in the future. I want to to attract customers. Yeah, so that's it. And personal branding is very important because it creates opportunities for you because there are those companies you'll never see them advertising, but you see employees working there. How do they get there? It's through maybe personal branding, maybe on LinkedIn and all the other platforms. And then becoming a business, in short, you are... You, you you convert your passion into a business that you can package it nicely and sell. So and that comes about from creating consistent communication about your brand. Like you're not going to just wake up one day and become this person. You want to build a brand over time and put yourself in the right spaces where you get the people that you want to communicate or connect with. And then now if you're looking to establish a sustainable business this basically means you already have a business going on and and from that business you you want to you know expand you want to to become you know an industry giant which is very possible and you're not even just looking to work within a region you're looking to work with people around the world so those are such such things i have intentionally avoided the conversation of starting to talk about, you know, I want to help you with your social media. I want to help you with, the, you know, create a website for you and optimize it, design it and all that. I want to help you with your branding and I, I want to help you with your public relations. Because at the end of the day, these are just tools. If there's anything you want to live with in this podcast today is that all these that I have talked about are just tools. The human algorithm of things, we're looking at things from a broader perspective. Like in whenever you are, let's say you are a project manager and you have this, you know, you're working for this NGO or something. When you're going out to the field and you're going to, you know, get to do maybe community engagements and all that, very important thing to consider is adopting a 
adopting a design thinking approach. Design thinking, um, if you haven't heard of that, is looking at something not just from the outcome, the, the end goal, like the final product, but looking at it from right from the onset, like what pushes this thing to go to the final thing or what pushes you to, be, to achieve this this notion you call success so that's why i'm not talking about them those are just tools that now we use to communicate effectively but at the core of it is is this brand that we know of is this brand that we can articulate is this brand that if we are given five minutes to talk about it we don't need the five minutes we just need three minutes to do it that's how brands are like you talk of a brand that sticks Yes, so that's it. So that's, uh, yeah, so those are the tools that we're going to use. We're going to use social media. We're going to use websites. We're going to use Google. We're also going to go into public relations where we're going to do a lot of media training and, um, you know, how to get yourself, you know, the media's attention. And we're not talking about it in a bad light, in a good way. And all that, email marketing, all those things that you've heard about marketing. We're not breaking it down, but we're looking at it from a bigger perspective of, I want to establish this, I want to tell the world this, then how am I going to do it? That's how we're going to do it. So yeah, so that's it for today's episode. I hope you liked it. I hope you've picked a few things moving forward. And this is what's going to happen. We're going to have these episodes every Sunday. So next Sunday, expect something good coming out and something more, you know, meaty and specific. I've just been throwing around things here and there to tell you about what this podcast is and what it's not. So yeah, feel free to subscribe. Yeah, and now it's your turn. You can you can share your thoughts, share your comments, tell me what you think about personal branding in in the digital era tell me what you think is it something you'd want to do is it something that you're so good at or is is it something that you need assistance in and yeah so let's see let's hear from you let's learn one or two and until sunday i wish you all the best 